Alright, that's that. A little late. We are a little late. Rescheduled. Hello out there. We are... Let's see here. This is uh, writing. Writing. Live stream. Um, there we go. Close this. And, and that. And this. Oh, there's two people. Three people. Hello out there. Oh, here we go. I've got some more. Oh, nice. Let me see if I can open this up bigger. Ooh, that's good. Ah, darn. It's good. It's just a little bit small or faint, I guess. All right. Hello out there. Oh. There is a uh, new, let's see, oh, here we go. There's going to be a special guest teacher today. Uh, Darn Dog. Darn Dog is interested. Darn Dog is uh, interested in writing his, um, oh, what's the word? Autobiography? Memoir. Can a dog write a memoir? I think a dog can write a memoir. If they have help, and that can be help. I can, I can be a dog helper, because darn dog helps me. So, darn dog helps me. I want to help darn dog. Okay, so there's a. Here we are. Well, here I am. I mean, there's dog. How are we doing there? You see, oh, there we go. Hello out there. So I have a, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I wonder if I can use, oh, there it is. So uh, today's writing, as is, is, uh, you can probably tell, we're starting late, but we're gonna go to 1040. So instead of going from 10 to 1030, I wanna go from uh, 1010 to 1040, yep. So still 30 minutes. Um, so I got another minute. Uh, I wonder if this, I can use this to talk to my mom. Uh, uh, what else is happening? Oh yeah, so we're gonna work, we're gonna work on this. The writing group I worked with yesterday helped me with, uh, they helped me with writing twin sentences. And that, that might be something mom and I talk about. Uh, another thing is, uh, mm, I mentioned Darn Dog. Darn Dog's working on uh, his memoirs. Although I don't, it seems to me like Darn Dog is pretty young to work on your memoirs. I thought he had to be pretty old, but dogs age at a different rate than humans do. So I don't know. Maybe Darn Dog is ready for his memoirs. I'm not going to judge. Whatever people want to write about in this day and age, as long as Darn Dog's writing, I don't care what he writes about. I mean, if he's scheming to overthrow me as a teacher and he wants to be the teacher, I might have a problem with that, but I, I think I'll be all right. So we have, uh, that's our writing, and that's our that's our plan Our plan for today. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, there's some blank paper there. Um, yeah, that's the big stuff. You have science after this. I, um, you have science and I have uh, to prep for pickup day tomorrow. And part of pickup day is going to be art. You're going to pick up some art materials. I'm really, I'm really happy for you that you get to do this art. You look crooked. Better fix that. All right. So uh, go ahead. Take this. It's your writing book. Uh, meet me here. And I will uh, I will do some writing. Darn dog will pop over. Right, if you don't have that, go ahead and write that. Darn dog will come over and
talk about his memoirs. He's actually going to need my mom's help with this because he um, uh, he he and my mom have a uh, have a, a history together. All right, so I got this darn dog. Boop. There he is. All right. All right, we're ready. All right. I wonder if it'll let me. Let's try this. Failed. FaceTime failed. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Is that what you mean to do? Yeah, I meant to do that. Oh, good. So I <laughs> just just on a whim, I put you uh, I put you on this guy's lap. So here, let me let me turn this up a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Oh, there we go. How are you today? I'm good. Good. All right. There's mom. There's mom, and there's darn dog. There's darn dog. Yep. He's he's doing well. How are you doing? There's. <gasps> oh, no way. There is. That's Walter. That is Neil. How do you know the squirrels apart, mom? Oh, okay. Jaquavius and Michael Jordan are gray. Uh huh. Tails. This guy oh. never goes to make his. And this one has a back leg. He drags his right leg. Oh, he's got an injury, huh? He's got a little injury, but it doesn't slow him down. Okay. Um, well, good for him. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching him. He's going to get the. Yeah, it looks like he's uh. He's running. Yep, oh, there he goes. There he goes. He got it. Now, I wish you could see my favorite part. Oh, see, he ran. He's not going to do it. They turn the nut around. They turn the peanut around. <laughs> yes. Carry it on their favorite end. Okay. So so they have a, um, when you're, yeah, this, uh, so you're, some of the writing you're doing, right? You're writing about your experience with the squirrels outside? Yeah, I am. So tell me about that. Well, I, first I was trying it in a paragraph kind of form. Okay. And then I, um, and then I was looking at it after your notes about rewriting and circling the important parts and all that. Okay. So, well, maybe I'll turn it into like a little poem. Oh. But then, but then I, I get stuck on, you know, rhyming, even though there's all kinds of poetry, right? There's haiku, which yes. has to do with stanzas with a number of syllables. And so anyway, I got hung up. But that's what I've been doing. I've just been playing with the with the Walter well, why don't you let? Yeah, let's jump into that. Why don't you give me like a sample sentence, and then we can talk about um, right. talk about how how we can revise using a um, an actual okay. an actual um, sample. It's right down. I was, one of, one time I had the title "Where's Walter" because he doesn't show up. Okay. So I just kind of changed it to "Furry Friends," and the first sentence was for the poem kind of thing. First, there was one. And then we named him Walter. Okay. <laughs> Brownish, round, with a big fat, fluff, with a big fluffy tail, always runs for shelter. Now, see, there I was trying to rhyme Walter and shelter. Okay. So, so. <laughs> but I get hung up, you know. Sure. Well, let, let's do because our the part the what is it the the for uh, we were just doing reading. And one way to organize our um, organize our notes, like let's say let's say my students were reading about or hearing what you're doing, they they might do sequence, right? Like first the squirrel jumps on the what is it jumps on your deck, then they walk over to your bowl because you leave the, the the peanuts in a bowl for them, then they pick up the peanut and they they turn it around. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can. You can revise it. Um, can you read me that sentence again, and, and maybe that'll be the one we do. Try that again. Okay. So it's the first line. Uh huh. It's four words. First, there was one. Okay. And the next line, we named him Walter. There was 
one, comma, you said we named him Walter? And then on the next line, we named him Walter. Okay. And the next line after that, I started to describe him. He's brownish. Uh-huh. Round. Brownish round, comma. I mean, brownish, comma, uh -huh. round with a big fluffy tail. Round with... A, oh, so people out there, you can just watch. You don't have to. You don't have to write this down because uh, Mom and I are going to model how you can take a how you can take your writing and then revise it. So, sorry, brownish round with a big fluffy tail. Big fluffy <laughs> tail. Uh huh. And this is T A I L or T A L E. T A T A I L. Okay, I L. Got to get my homophone straight. He has it. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> That's you. You're telling me a tale, and I'm writing down about his yes. tale. Got it. And then the last under that, the last sentence is always runs for shelter. Always runs for. So this is your. So was this your poem version? Yeah. Uh huh. For shelter. Okay. So students out there, because I know I have questions. Um. I so. Anytime we're writing, and I think for me, part of the reason I'm drawn to um, poetry is always tricky for me is because there's so much interpretation and there's so much uh, vague. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna cover po poetry this year as fourth graders, but um, so when you say first there was one, we named him Walter, because you know what's interesting about this? At no point do you say what Walter is. <laughs> Right? We have to guess. We have to guess what he is. And that's fine. Um, but if you're writing, because if you're writing a poem, you can be vague about it. If you're writing, um, like if you are writing a, if you're writing a narrative, if you're writing an actual narrative, you would do, you would write this differently. How would you write this differently okay, if I'll you're writing a narrative? I'll read it to you. Okay. Uh, this is the narrative one. Oh. Okay. The first, the first part of the narrative one, I'll just read it to you quick and then I'll stop. Okay. Those, those darn squirrels, you see that's my first sentence is squirrels, and I put darn in there because of darn dog. Darn. <laughs> so I say, those darn squirrels, first there was just one, we named him Walter. Walter Saber Trick was raiding the bird feeder, which he would do by hanging by his back feet off the side of the house. And then I describe how he hangs and, and raids the bird feeder. Okay. I had to move the food away since birds were afraid of Walter. Instead, I had a hummingbird feeder by the wall. Walter's not interested in sweet water. Whoa. He won't go near the hummingbird feeder. Forget it. Okay. So that one, that first paragraph describes that it is a squirrel. His name is Walter and what he does by hanging off the building, trying to raid. That's when I first met him. That's before I learned about peanuts. Okay. So, so this is this is sort of your origin story. Oh, interesting. What? Um, okay, I'll, uh, Vihan, that's a good question. We'll get to that in a second. Vihan had a had a good question about Walter. Um, so your what you just wrote is more of a. Um, the, it, you said it's the first time you saw Walter. Yeah, he was raiding the bird feeder. So can you re so read me that sentence? And I'll write that one down. The one about the um, his favorite trick. Uh, from the beginning, the whole thing you just said. Okay, those darn squirrels. That's your first sentence. That is. Those darn squirrels. Uh huh. First, there was just one. And this is uh, for those darn squirrels, comma. Yeah. Okay. Right. First, <laughs> first there, because I wasn't sure if that was just a sentence. Those darn squirrels. It was. It was just a hook. It was. Just yeah. A, um, uh -huh. one sentence. Oh, so it is one sentence. Okay, those darn squirrels. Period. First there was just one. Oh, first there was, first there was just one. Period. We named him Walter, period. Was just one. Period. We named, named him. him Walter. Now, this is interesting. Both this, this and your uh, poem version says we named him Walter. And my students haven't asked it. So I'm going to ask you, when you say we named him Walter, who was involved in naming Walter? That was your nephew, my grandson, Michael. Okay. So we 
So how would you, are, are you going to elaborate about who the we are in your writing? Uh, well, he's a big part. I mean, he texts me. Have you seen Walter yet? Michael texts <laughs> yeah. me at home. Yeah. You know, he's the one that's more invested. The, the He's the 13-year-old. Okay. The 11-year-old, he, he's, he listens to the brother, but he doesn't. Michael's into it. Michael's Got it. really into the squirrels. Got it. So why, how about we, uh, we let, let's explore that a little bit if it's okay. So okay. we could say those darn squirrels, period. First, there was just one. We named him Walter. Um, how about the, the second sentence? You either talk about Walter or you and Michael. Like, how did you, how, how would you, how did you two come up with the name Walter? He just came up, he just said it. Let's name him Walter. Okay. And he never explained why? No. We should, we should call him Walter. And we don't know anybody. Well, there's, a, there's a, an ancestor Michael. named Walter, but he never knew him. Right. Uh, my, oh, wait. I almost put, I put Michael, my nephew, but that's your, um, uh, that's your, what is it? Grandson. grandson, grandson. My nephew. So my grandson. And this is all written for my mom's voice. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think Lena, I did change, there were some errors, Lena, yes. So if you reload the schedule, it should say 1010 to 1040. Uh, but if you don't reload, you're going to keep getting the old um, error-filled schedule. I have error typos in my schedule today. Uh, I want to so, know what that kid's question, what, one of the kids had a question about Walter. What was oh, that? yeah. So, so it's uh, Michael, my grandson, suggested, I'm going to put that name, suggested... Yeah. That name and had um had Michael seen Walter at that point? Had he seen this school? Yes. Okay. Yes, he named him. He named him when he saw him. Okay, that name yeah. when when he saw the squirrel. Yeah, they were over here, and I and then the squirrel came, and I just yelled, "Oh, there he is!" Okay. Oh, All right. So we have. Oh, oh, here's the other thing we're doing. Wait, um, he's still here. Walter or the other guy? Uh, that's, uh -oh. that's Neil. <laughs> All right, so you've got Neil. Can I zoom in? It won't let me zoom in. Uh, yeah, okay, so you've got Neil, uh, who's out there now, and you've got Walter. Is Walter the yeah. one who comes the most? Walter or is... hasn't shown up yet. Okay, well, was Walter was the first squirrel. Walter was the first. Okay, so here's here's what um, the other thing that we did as a, as a class. Um so we named him Walter. Oh, so here's what Armand, sorry, Armand is up there now. Uh, but Vihan was the one that asked, um, ooh, so Vihan's asking, who's the main characters? The main characters are my mom, Michael, and Walter. So there's three main characters. Um, he, Vihan wants to know, why does he run for shelter? Man, you know what? Vihan, I don't know because I've been, there's a, there's a, link on Google or whatever called All About Squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And these people, they hold their squirrels. Oh, their squirrels. wild squirrels? Yeah. yeah no, yeah, thank you. Girls. No, thank so you. I know, I know. Your sister would tell me, because your sister, the zookeeper, would say, Ma, she keeps telling me, Mom, don't let them in the house. Don't let them in the house. Right. Rabies, right? I don't know, but All About Squirrels, they're like pets. Oh, no thanks. No. I do. So I do have, so we don't know why he runs for shelter. So Vian, good question. We don't know why. Um, may I, can we, let's challenge each other here. So yesterday with my, with my writers, I, we did the uh, who, what, when, where, why, how. So let's, let's, let's knock that out for this. Just this idea. Uh, there was a squirrel named Walter. So who, the who is Walter. Michael and my mom. Okay. Walter, Michael, and my mom. And then, uh, so let's think of a what. Like after you named him, after you named him, was there a, was there something that stood out, like a, a special memory of all that? Yes, he was hanging by his back feet. Did okay. So that's the what. <laughs> the what. The what is hanging. Hey, and that's now I want to draw a picture of that. Hey. He's on the side of a wall, right? On the right. side. He's not on a ledge. He's not on a shelf. He's not on a step. 
His, he's hanging upside down. His back feet are up on the wall. His front feet are draped over onto the bird feeder. Okay, hanging by his back, back feet. feet. Okay. And where is this taking place? On my... God, there goes here. Right on, my, on the wall of the building. On the wall... But like like uh, you said, my sister Kelly said, um, don't let him in the house. So this is not in your house, on the wall. Yeah, outside. Outside. I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show him right there. All right, so that's out there. See, and here's the deck. So here's the whole deck. Right. So they come. They come. I'm on the first floor. They come from the trees. Uh -huh. and they jump in, and he was on the side of the wall out there. Okay, so he, the what's, the, um, so that's the why. That's why uh, Walter is doing this. Oh. What, why is he doing this? To get to the uh, bird suit. Yep. Why? The bird suit. To get to the um, bird. And you, so you had bird seed in there, but now you have hummingbird. It's sunflower seeds, yeah. Bird. See. Uh, okay, so we've got who, um, how, oh, how, that's interesting. So I think, well, Vian's uh, bringing it today. Good job, Vian. So uh, Vian asked how. So maybe the how, the what. So is the what that he's hanging by his back feet, or is the what he's trying to get food? I think the what is he's trying to get food, huh? Well, yeah, but it was amazing. <laughs> right, but so you're you're amazed by the how? Yes. Okay, you're not amazed because it's not surprising to any of us. You, it's not surprising that the squirrel is trying to get to the bird seed. Right? Yeah. That part's pretty predictable. Yeah. But what's amazing is the how. Let's see. So I gotta. I'm gonna separate. Oh, maybe I'll do this. Here we go. So hopefully this works. So we'll do another maybe two more minutes. Um, and then, because Darn Dog wants to ask you questions about his origin story, so he's going to ask you some questions if that's okay. Okay, sure. Because Darn Dog, you know, dogs don't have a good memory. Um, at least this uh, dog doesn't. So yes. he's gonna he's gonna ask you some uh, some questions. Okay. But I wanted to get I wanted to uh, to try and reorganize. <clears throat> excuse me to show the kids sometimes by doing the. Who, what, where, oh, when. Actually, so we, we don't have when. When did this happen? Uh, right around Christmas time. When? In December. Uh, around? Christmas. Uh, Christmas. Because it's getting colder and, they, and they're hungry. Around Christmas time. Okay. So around Christmas time. Oh, right. Because um, that's kind of the why too, right? To get bird seed. So because it's, um, what do they call that time of year? The... They're, they don't hibernate, but they're fattening themselves up. For the yeah, they're like preparing for hibernation, kind of. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Right. Get the bird seed. Uh, I'm going to put, be, I'm just abbreviating because hungry. <laughs> yes, yes. That's kind of the why. Uh, the, so I'm going to change the what. The what is actually wrong. So I'm going to rewrite my what. The what is... Uh, yeah, what is uh, um, the what is getting the bird seed or trying to get the bird seed? Uh huh. Trying. Oh, he got it. He got it. He <laughs> so trying, it. trying and succeeding. Yes. <laughs> succeeding uh, at uh, getting bird seed. And then the how is what's so fascinating to you. Remind me what the how is. Flat wall. Okay. And the front feet were gripped onto the bird feeder, and his mouth was in the bird feeder. And was Hang, hanging. Um, Off and you do you do you have video footage of that? Why what? Do you have video of that or a photo of that? No, because you know that was. Could you? Day, could you draw a picture of it? Me? No, yeah. you can. No, you can just ju just do a sketch of it. It doesn't have to be. Uh, the Mona Lisa or something beautiful. Yeah, it's going to look like Snoopy hanging off the <laughs> that, <water. laughs> That's okay. Um, hanging 
uh, hanging dot 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 feet uh, dot 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 you know hanging by his feet uh, stretched out okay here we go so I'm gonna try and re rewrite it okay. it was around for didn't I send you a picture of that one squirrel swinging from yes the I saw the swinging that, picture that, that's more recent that's but that wasn't Walter that was somebody else oh no no it's no no it's Jordan okay so um, it was around Christmas time when my mom, well, when my mom saw Walter on a wall outside trying to get the bird seed because he was hungry and he was hanging by his back feet, stretched out, blah, blah, blah. So I did it in that order, but we could also do my mom was looking at the wall outside when she saw a squirrel trying to get the bird seed by hanging by hanging by his feet and stretched out but see i left out around christmas time so then it feels like i'm just tacking that on at the end um what feels the most natural to you like where where are you inclined to start this but that's why it was so wordy that's why i went to writing it just line by line and a whole kind of thing yeah, yeah. Just doing the narrative like that mm -hmm. um so that so that this the just modeling this is what I'm doing with my kids, um, both in terms of I feel like this is good practice as a whole story, right? If you're going to write your story, you want to make sure you have the who, what, when, where, why, how. Um, you're also we also talked about where's that other thing about here we go, bringing the characters to life. This thing here, uh -oh. right. bringing the characters to life um, when you describe. Because you you brought the squirrel to life to me when you describe how he was hanging and yes. what he was doing with his, his little paws and all that. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I'm curious. I'm curious. At what point did you and did you get involved with Michael talking about the squirrel? Was it after the squirrel um, got in there? Was Michael there when you looked at? He wasn't there the first time I saw Walter. Right. So yeah. So I saw Walter. And Stealing all my bird food, and then the next time the boys were over, okay, then then it happened again. Okay, it kept happening, and so I mean it was a few days before I was smart enough to move the bird feeder. Uh huh. But by then the, the, they were visiting, so they come back, and then I heard about the, the peanut. So when you say they visiting, you're talking about the squirrels or your your grandson? No, I'm talking about Michael and Joey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good. So. Uh, yeah, I guess if it's okay, will you will you keep pushing your writing, and then we can keep we'll revisit it again uh, okay. next week. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm curious because who knows? Maybe your story will be about um, it'll be less about that first moment where you saw Walter. Maybe it'll be more about you and Michael and Joey, and how Michael's interested in the lives of the squirrels, and Joey's just kind of like eh, squirrels. Right. Um, or who knows? Maybe the story will go in a completely different, a different yeah. section, or a poem, yeah. or, or whatever, whatever format is good. To right, right, right. Cool. Okay. Nice. So what about darn dog's questions? Oh yeah, darn dog has some questions. Let me let me bring them over here, and then let's see. Uh, yep. All right. So first of all, well, I guess he he really likes um, he really likes oh, having these on. Because he, he likes to pretend he's a gamer. So let me get this set up here. So I had a um, I gave the kids a survey, and here are the questions. Um, oh, interesting. How about this? How's that work? No. How about this? And let me go this way. Where is that dog? Oh. Oh. Hello. Can you see me? I can see you. Oh, good. Hello. Uh, my name is Hi. Darn Dog. Uh, Hi, Dog. Can you remember, uh, remind me, have we met before? Yes, Darn Dog. You lived in my classroom. What? You lived in my classroom. Well, I'm in a classroom now. Well, I know, but that, that's how I first had you. When I taught in San Francisco, you were in my classroom waiting for me. I have no memory. 
memory of this. Oh, yes, and all the kids loved you. They wanted to take you down and, and have, have you talk. What What year is this? Oh, boy, a long time ago, like 19, 1997. Wait a minute. You mean you mean to tell me I'm as old, I'm older than the kids in Mr. Corker's class? I think so, yes. Whoa, that just blew my doggy brain. Yeah, but mm. you kind of stay young all the time. You, you don't age, really. That's okay with me. I know, me too. Oh, uh, so, yeah, so do do you know who my parents are? You know, you had a lot of brothers in the school. What? Uh, yeah. remind me what school this is? Harvey Milk Civil Rights Academy. Ah, uh, so. mm, mm, mm. okay. Yes. So, yes. Uh, I was born in San Francisco. Yes, you were. Mm, okay. Mm. I had more questions. Mm. Well, you had a lot of brothers. Well, what were they like? They were good. They, they looked just like you. They had, I guess you were identical, actually. You had the same coat, and you, you looked the same, but I think they all had different personalities. Mm. Mm. That doesn't surprise me at all. Mm. Mm. So, Darn Dog, you, you said you wanted to ask about um, going to, you said uh, you have no memories of Hawaii, but I think I think you've been to Hawaii. Have I been to Hawaii? Oh, I get, maybe you went home with me when I moved home, and then, and then that's how you got back to Mr. Mr. Kevin. Oh, that's right. Yep. Back in the day. Yep, yep, yep. So I, Mr. Corcoran uh, found me in your room, right? Yeah, but, yeah, I don't know exactly, darn dog, if we were supposed to take you. That's the thing. I think I, I, my memory's not so good either because I there was another darn dog I had a darn dog in San Francisco, and I had another darn dog in Hawaii. You were famous. More famous than I am now? Oh, yes. I yeah, 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 all yeah. Those other darn dogs. All right. Well, uh, you've given me some good material to start with. Mm. Sometimes when we're doing research, first we have to figure out the questions. And so far I have this. First. I was born somewhere in San Francisco. Mm. Second, mm, I have brothers and sisters somewhere. Or sisters or brothers? I think brothers. I think they were all boy dogs. Mm -hmm. A lot of boys in that litter. Mm. That's right. Then, at some point, you took me to Hawaii, and that's where Mr. Corkin got me. Right? I guess. Okay. Well, that's the thing about my memoirs. If I can't pin down the facts, I'm just going to elaborate. Maybe I was a governor of Hawaii. I, maybe. I think you helped the police. I think you took a bite out of crime. No, that's not me. That's my that's my brother McGruff. That's not oh, me. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's McGruff. The one that got away. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, that gives me something to work with. Okay. Mm. okay. You have any questions for me? I'm glad you're. So, are you going to write a story, McGruff? Oh, yeah. Are oh, you, yeah. Oh, darn dog, darn dog. Are you going to nope. write a story? That's okay. McGruff looks just like me. I so, it's okay. I know he does. My my actual, I looked at my birth certificate. My name is McGuffin. McGuffin? McGuffin. Oh, okay. mm. Look it up. Mm. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, well, the kids got to go to mm, science or art or something. And uh, Mr. Corcoran is, go. yeah, he's got to like plan for tomorrow or wait, later. Well, whatever. Okay. I'm going to go ponder my next questions. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun. Mm. Thank, later, darn dog. Thanks for your help. Mm. I like your headphones. Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Your, your turn, Mr. Corker. All right. Well, thanks for well, thanks for I helping guess, out. I guess we needed to talk about that before because <laughs> <laughs> that's what next time is. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for your help with all of it. Uh, I will see you, um, darn dog, and I will see you uh, next week for sure, if okay, not before. Good. All right. I'll work on my story. Okay. Okay. Likewise. Love you, Mom. Be well.
Bye bye. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, looks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so have a good uh, have a good science. I will see you at um, at lunch. All right, bye bye. <laughs>